Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how to use the matrix mode on the Casio FXCT50 graphing calculator. I'm going to assume familiarity with matrices already, so this is not the video to learn matrices, only how to learn to use them on the, ca uh, on the Casio FXCT50 graphing calculator. So again we're going to, need to ex enter the run matrix mode, and the, the clue's in the name here. This is the run matrix mode, because it can do calculations with matrices. Once you're in the, uh, the mode, from this initial menu, we're going to click F3. And this lets us cr create some matrices, which are numbered from A down to Z, plus uh, matrix aren't. So, to edit a matrix, you click, uh, make sure it's highlighted, and then click Execute. You then need to enter its dimensions. So, in this case, I'm going to do 3, Execute by 3, Execute. And here we go. Here we can enter in our data. So let's say five, seven, nine, zero, four, three, zero point five, roots eighty four, and um, six, for example. We can then click exit. You can create. Uh, now let's create another matrix. Matrix again, three by three. This time we'll fill it all with eights. And we'll do one more. This time we'll do a two by two. Okay. Now I'm going to click exit and exit once more and return back to the run matrix, uh, the main run matrix view. So to access a matrix, we can click Shift 2, and then Alpha, and the key corresponding to the letter we need. So, matrix A, and there's our matrix A. You can see that even though we entered in a third, and in the matrix editor it showed us its decimal expansion, it does retain um, the fact that it's actually a third, and um, it will use that for calculations, such as, as shown here. You can add matri uh, matrices, so Shift Matrix alpha A plus shift to alpha B. And yeah, we can add them. So we've been added by eight. For more matrix operations, we need to click option. Then we can click F2 for uh, matrix slash uh, vectors. Here we've got another way of accessing um, the MAT keyword instead of shift 2. They both work. And from here we can perform other calculations, such as finding the determinant. Shift, matrix A, or uh, that matrix, uh, let's do C. You can transpose matrices, so remember this one was 1, 2, 3, 4, matrix C. And we can see it's now 1, 3, 2, 4, or 1, 2, 3, 4. And there are many other operations you can do. Some of them, like augment, will take two uh, two um, parameters, two two matrices. So here, matrix A, comma here, and matrix B, and they will augment them together. For more, you can click F six, um, and F six again. And again, and one more time will take you back to the initial set of options. The identity keyword will let you specify uh, a, ma a square matrix with ones down the linear diagonal of a size specified. So let's say identity 5, and that gives us a 5x5 five five matrix, uh, the 5x5 five five identity matrix. You can get the dimensions of a matrix using the dim keyword, and it returns this as a list. And you can do many other calculations that you would expect from matrices, such as uh, and vectors from this mode. We can do a bit more in the matrix header editor. To get back there, we'll click exit and exit once more, and then F3. And we'll enter this matrix that we uh, we're already using with execute. Here we can perform row operations. 
for example, we could swap rows 1 and rows 3. And you can see that uh, our serve one, or its decimal expansion, is now up here at the top, so those rows have swapped. You can multiply a row by a scalar. So let's multiply the second row by 5. And you can add rows together. Let's add row 1 and row 2, and this will store it in row 2. And you can even multiply a row by scalar and then add it to another row. Like so. Now let's say we've got our 3x3 matrix, but we realise we want to add another, another row. Well, by pressing F2, we can then insert another row. And this inserts it before the row we've got currently selected. And you can delete rows, or you can add rows with F3. And this puts it after the row currently selected. You can do the same thing with columns. Insert, and add, and delete. Before I end this video, there's one more key point that I want to go over. Back in the normal uh, calculations mode, let's do a simple calculation with a matrix. For example, let's find a, a matrix inverse. So, shift 2, alpha b, to the, neg uh, to the power of negative 1. Ah, wait, this one might be simpler. Let's do matrix C instead. There we go. And we've inverted this matrix. However, when we then go to use our aunt's keyword, uh, our aunt's the keyword, we see that it's not doing this matrix. In fact, it's using this value all the way up here, which is the last regular scalar value um, used in the run matrix. To access this matrix, we need to do shift matrix, shift aunt's, and there you go. And then, via the matrix editor, you see right at the bottom here, we've got our matrix ants. And then, as you can see, using our inverted matrix, which we've got in our answer, that's ants, we can then multiply it by our uh, original matrix that we inverted, and we will get the identity, the 2 by 2 identity matrix. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you.